Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here. Just uh, real quick, jumping back on the stream on this uh, Monday night. Uh, got our earthquake activity uh, kind of ramping up around New Zealand currently. Got a uh, 4.6 coming in here to the Cook Strait area. Of course, this region did see uh, some larger scale movement uh, oh, last week or so. Uh, let's go ahead and check out a uh, little specifics here on this earthquake. USGS not showing that movement yet. This is just coming in a few minutes ago, uh, but the uh, earthquake activity uh, is around this five pointer, the 5.7 that we've seen oh, a couple weeks ago around the Cook Strait Inlet area. Cook Strait, excuse me, area uh, just off the coast here between North and South Island, New Zealand region. That uh, area around New Zealand has been showing quite a bit of movement here recently. Some deeper activity and uh, quite a bit of activity across the Cook Strait region. So kind of watching this Hikurangi subduction zone pretty closely. Uh, again, there's that 4.6 coming in. Just uh, kind of looks like it's just to the southwest of the five-pointer that struck here a couple weeks ago. The interactive map here shows that specific earthquake. Actually, yeah, it's a little bit further to the southwest. That 5.7 occurred uh, a little bit further upstream. So this is pretty much uh, very close um, to the... Well, it's off the plate boundary. I'm looking here on my map. It looks like it's on a fault system called the... Uh, what's it called? Wairu? Uh. I'm thinking it's Weiru. Weiru? It's W-A-I-R-A-U. It's a uh, normal faulting system that runs through here. Kind of uh, runs off of the uh, main fault, the main plate boundary out here, which sits a little bit further south. Uh, there is quite a bit of uh, fault systems that run through this area, but it looks like it's a ways away from the main plate boundary that kind of runs up here. And then down across South Island, New Zealand as the Alpine Fault. So uh, that is, uh, either way, um, another earthquake out here around New Zealand. Uh, it looks like it did kick up uh, a few minutes ago. Let me check out the GeoNet servers here and see what we got for any reports. Looks like uh, GeoNet is reporting this as a 4.8 earthquake. Um, there it is on the map. Quite a few... Folks reported this earthquake. That's a lot. You guys are reporting quite a bit of earthquake activity here lately around New Zealand. Um, but it is on a major plate boundary. Uh, there's a lot of uh, uncertainty on the Hikurangi and also the Alpine Fault down here. Uh, so with all this movement taking place uh, in and around that area, definitely good to be prepared. A few folks reported some extreme shaking, but the majority reported some weak and light uh, shaking on the felt report. Uh, let's see if this, I'm sure this was picked up, no doubt, across the area of the uh, drums. There it is. This shows all the stations registering that uh, 4.8 uh, coming in. Just now seeing it on some of the seismographs here. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty large. I remember this area did see some fours, uh, mid fours, last night. Uh, it's past the 24-hour period now, but uh, for whatever reason, the EMSC didn't report it. Well, they reported it, but then they disappeared it. It was no longer on the map or on the globe. So I, I'm not for sure what's going on with it. The GeoNet servers are still reporting that earthquake activity from last night, uh, which was centered roughly around the North Island, New Zealand area. Uh, but this movement is kind of working its way down south. And of course, the Hikurangi subduction zone sits just here off the west coast or uh east coast of north island new zealand area and has definitely definitely been getting some uh some interesting activity out here usgs not reporting out who knows if they will um but emsc definitely and the geonet servers we see it clear as day uh there on the map so um, 13 minutes ago. These guys just sticking with a 4.6. Geonet 4.8. Uh, large population density out here around Wellington. Uh, reporting this uh, earthquake. So uh, this did show up pretty nicely around the uh, New Zealand seismograph station right there. 
So just be on guard, folks. Stay safe and uh, let us know if you felt this earthquake, kind of what it felt like. Uh, that's definitely of some high uh, scientific value right there. So I appreciate any reports that come in on this earthquake. So we'll catch you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there. And uh, as always, you know, be prepared. There's always that potential of something much larger about ready to brew out here in the region of New Zealand. Have a good night, folks.